My name is Dr. Terry Hammond. I'm an orthopaedic surgeon specialising in surgery of the shoulder. In this video, I will be discussing dislocations of the acromioclavicular joint. This is an x-ray showing a normal acromioclavicular joint. It's a right shoulder and we're looking from the front. As you can see, the clavicle that is shown here with this arrow and the acromion, which is shown with this arrow, are lined up perfectly. This x-ray shows a dislocated acromioclavicular joint. You can see the clavicle has popped upwards and the alignment between the two bones has been lost. This is a very significant injury. Even though you can't see it on the x-ray, there has been major disruptions to some of the most important ligaments in the shoulder region. This x-ray shows a more severe injury. You can see wider separation between the clavicle and the acromion. This x-ray shows an even more severe injury. There is marked separation between the two bones. There would be widespread damage to the ligaments and without surgery this would do very badly. Patients with a severe injury often have quite marked clinical deformity. Here you can see the clavicle which has popped up clearly visible under the skin. The following video illustrates one of the surgical techniques that can be used to repair this injury. An incision is first made in the skin. There are many different incisions that can be made, but in this case we're illustrating one that goes from top to bottom. A saw is then used to remove a small section of the end of the clavicle which has been damaged beyond repair. Next, we pass an artificial ligament around a small bone in the shoulder known as the coracoid. You can see this being done now on the video. We then use a special instrument to make sure that it is tightly secured around the coracoid with no chance of later slippage. The artificial ligament is then passed underneath the clavicle. It is then brought across the top and you can see how as it is tightened it brings the clavicle back down into the correct position. A screw is then passed through the loop in the artificial ligament and into a hole drilled in the clavicle. This gives a strong and permanent repair. This picture illustrates the operation. You'll see the initial injury in the picture on the left. The structures in yellow are the torn ligaments, which of course you don't see on the x-ray. The picture on the right shows the final result, with the artificial ligament holding the clavicle back down into place. There are many other operations that can be used to repair a dislocated acromioclavicular joint. In this operation, a special plate is attached to the end of the clavicle and hooks underneath the acromion to hold the clavicle back firmly into place. Post-operative treatment will vary for each patient. You may need to be in a sling for the first six weeks, and you may need to avoid lifting your arm above your head for the first four to six weeks. You will be given exercises for your hand, wrist and elbow and it is important to gently swing your arm away from your body to be able to wash underneath your armpit. It is very important to be careful with your arm, particularly for the first two weeks, to allow your incision to heal without complication. If you would like additional information about shoulder surgery, you can go to my website on www.terryhammond.com.au. If you would like to watch more videos on shoulder surgery, you can go to YouTube and search Dr. Terry Hammond Shoulder Surgery. Thank you for watching. I hope this video has helped your understanding of acromioclavicular joint dislocations.